DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? Was y'all like meeting people from like other schools and shit, like like in them days type shit? I ain't gonna lie. That didn't happen until I went to junior high. Okay, okay, bet, you know what bet, I'm bet. And, 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 and I ain't gonna even say like it. At, when I first got to junior high, I mean, the first junior high I went to was Hamlin. I didn't, uh, it was just, that's when I really got to meet a lot of people from the crest. When okay. I got to Hamlin, like, because we rode the bus together. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's where I got to meet really like a lot of the females from the crest. You know what I'm saying? So we that's why I want to ask you too, like, because coming from like the south side, like, when people said, Northside back in the day, like I kind of know now, but back in my day, whenever I was younger, when people said Northside to me, the Northside meant just the Northside, the, north the North, not oh, Northside oh, Manor. Oh, yeah. To me, like coming from the South Side, and I think a lot of people like coming from like the South. A lot of people like whenever people would say the Northside, a lot of people just consider like the Northside, the Northside of Corpus Christi. So can you break down like the difference between Northside, which I'll consider Northside, and then the breakdown of the difference between Northside and like Hill Chris? Oh. It, it really, really like. And how did that even become? I'm, like, I'm gonna tell you. Look, check this out. I'm, 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 like I'm, I'm gonna check this out. I'm check this out. Back in the day, it was Northside Manor. They called it the projects, and it, and it was called the Hillcrest, right? We ain't get along with each other, dog. But there was projects inside yeah, of Hillcrest yeah, yeah. too, kind of right. Well, is no, Dean no, no, Letters considered no, 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 Hillcrest? No, 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 okay, no, no, okay. No, that's okay. the project. Dean Letters is the project. Okay. When you when you get across, when you get a. Over there to where the smokehouse was. Yeah, nigga, okay, bet, Chris. okay, bet, bet, that's bet, Hill Chris. that's Hill Chris. You know what bet, I'm saying? Bet, bet. And uh, we we didn't get along with each other. You know what I'm saying? But uh, um, uh, like I say, it was Northside Manor. It was the projects. It was it was did it was the and and you had the West Side. But the thing about it, it wasn't. We called each other cross town niggas. <laughs> we called each other cross. It was it wasn't no North Side West Side. I remember that. It wasn't shit. no side. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. What happened, and this is this is an honest to God, true story, bro. I swear to God, it, it, it lightning strike me in the ass right now. This is what <laughs> happened, man. Me and me and me and Baron was rapping against Winston and Jeff, and that shit got bad. Not a, a rapping, but it got heated out there. Like she was, you know, like she was like really crazy out there, and uh, Jeff Jeff started screaming West Side. Oh, okay, okay. West side. And I started saying north side. Oh shit, all and right. I, and man, I don't care what nobody say. That's how that that's how that shit got separated. Like that, the side of like That's how the West and the North. That's how that shit. shit that's how that shit right. developed. All you right. know what I'm saying? That's when that, that shit got separated. I, I swear to God, that's the day that it happened. It used to be a club called Oz, right? Uh you know where the uh the Moody Me Bar right there on Weber, where the where the H E B at that, that corner look Building right yeah. across the street from Weber. Yeah, yeah, bingo I know place, yeah, bingo yeah, 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 yeah. That used to be a fucking club. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we had, we used to go there. You know what I'm saying to the club and shit. And that's that's where that shit happened. But is this in like your teenage years? Whenever y'all, yeah, okay, my okay. Years. This is my teenage years. This is like when I'm like 13. Okay, so like yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll go back a little bit. Then we'll get. We'll get to that shit for sure. So it's back in when you like I say back in like middle school, junior high shit. Was you into like any like sports or anything like that growing up type shit, or was you already like just out there in the streets type shit? No. Or what, what, like what was you no. doing like in junior high type shit? I was, I was I was playing I was playing football and just hanging out as a kid with with the, with my pops. I ain't gonna lie, I played basketball, but I wasn't good like BJ and Mookie and all and Lily and Baron and all them niggas, Marvin and Juice. These niggas was playing basketball. I was, <laughs> I was good like them niggas. Man. <laughs> niggas ripping my shit. God, my shot was whack. Niggas chunking my shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, was, I was like, fuck that. I hit you. I hit one of you niggas you get on this field. Already. And, and, already. They, and, they, and, and that's what, if, for a little nigga at Miller, that's what I was known for. Okay. You know already, what I'm saying? The little already. dude on the field hitting a nigga here or hitting a nigga there, getting my little five minutes of fame in the game. But, uh,. That's what we played baseball, bro. And shit, we we was we was we was we was softball. We was we was live. We went to Georgia two years in a row for playing that shit. And that's you know like with a North Side League yeah, or something like that. Yeah, for T Sarah's. Oh T -Sarris. shit! And see, see, this was this what was live about that shit, right? This is what was live about that shit, right? Because on this team, this is T Sarah's, right? This is like for kids. It's like neutral ground for us. You okay. know what I'm saying? So you got. Hillcrest kids coming there. You got Dean Leather kids coming there. You got Northside Mountain kids coming there. Yeah. We're playing baseball together on the same team. So we're already establishing relationships by the time we get to junior okay, high. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Already. So we already, you know, these niggas, some of these brothers to this day are like brothers. You know what I'm saying? Already. Family, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And females and all that, you know. 
So those those relationships were being established at an early age like that. The summer basketball leagues. And so stuff the TC like Air Center kind of like brought everybody kind of yeah, almost it was like a, look look man. For us, like what was what was what was really like neutral ground, you know what I'm saying? Was like Hillcrest Park and the slab. Already. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that strip right there that's in, that that was in the projects, you know what I'm saying? And and then leather that strip right there, that was neutral that was neutral ground for like everybody to come and enjoy themselves. You Already. know what I'm saying? I mean, shit did pop off sometimes, but for majority of the time, it didn't. You oh, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? You got niggas bought they, the they baddest ride down there. The baddest females was out. Whoever was doing, whoever was doing was out. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the next the next the ones that was next up was yeah. out. You know. So what I'm uh, Hillcrest Park would almost be considered as like hitting ML equivalent to hitting MLK on a Sunday in Houston. Oh, type most, shit. Definitely. Okay. most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. I'm talking about bro. Look, look, man. I'm talking. <laughs> look, man. I'm talking about cars, cars on top of the grass, packed all the way from here to there. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out way over here just to walk into the park. Yeah, bro. hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah God, it was loud. And I'm talking about basketball court looked like the Ruckers. God damn. Basketball court looked like the Ruckers, man. They balling out there. Already. God you know, damn. say that. I don't care no. The most legendary side that will, I don't care what nobody else in the, in the history code, the most legendary side will always be North Side. Well, team, I got, I got, I've read books and, and stuff like this, and I think a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people, like, a lot of black folks, not a lot of people, a lot of black folks think, like, oh, I'm from the South, or my people's from the South, but all black folks in Corpus, if your family originates from Corpus, they they all come they, from the North they, side, the North side to, of Corpus they chose Christi. To migrate out. Like my 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 peoples came from Marlin, Texas, and when they came from Marlin, my granny, they came, my great granny and them, and my granny and them, they came from Marlin, Texas, and when they came from Marlin, Texas, they lived in Hillcrest, and, yeah. D, and not even in Hillcrest, they lived in DN Leathers, and then yeah. they moved to Hillcrest. Yeah. They lived in DN Leathers. When my when my, when my pops them came from Bastrop, my mom them came from Robs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It came right to the north. Yeah, side. these yeah. people that adopted me. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, it came right to the north. Side, yeah, for you know sure. What I'm for sure. And, 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 and like I'm telling you, bro, some of the most legendary niggas in your hood on the other side come from there. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. From the other side, they come from there. Yeah, they yeah. just left as kids. Yeah, hell yeah. They was bad as fuck when we was running together. <laughs> Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm talking about my partners that move, but may I move to the West? Already. Nigga, legendary name. Already. You know Already. what I'm saying? Really, really from there. Already. Really from there. Hell yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah. So when when do y'all start making music? Are y'all making music in junior high? Or do y'all start making music like in high school? And who are you making music with whenever you first start making music? I, I mean. And now y'all just fucking around, dibbling and dabbling in the from day one. Y'all like like y'all see somebody else doing it and y'all like I we seen, trying to I do seen, it. I seen I seen I seen I uh, seen I went to a Miller dance, dog. I think it was a homecoming. It was the Ron, it was a group called the Ron Wizards, and I don't know what Patrick Bellfield knew. So what's this like like late eighties type shit? Already. No, 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 no. Early nineties? No, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This wasn't no late eighties. This was this was like the mid eighties. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like mid eighties. Okay, like, bet. This is like, like eighty five. Already, already. Shit like that. Already. Like, it was it was Baron. In this one, the round was it was Baron, Robert Wood, and Chris Lewis. And over here, it was like Patrick Belfield, Kenneth Lee, and uh, Jimmy Gale. You know what I'm saying? And say I didn't know we could do this shit. Already, them niggas, Jimmy Gale, and them, them niggas was harmonizing and everything. I'm talking about like, man, look, what, what, what these niggas doing today? Out, them niggas did it back <laughs> then, man. And them niggas did it back then. Already. Jimmy and them did that shit back then. Them niggas was rapping it then, but man, look, and and I'm watching Baron them with the Kennedy Lee beatboxing and and, and, and and uh and uh. Chris Lewis beatboxing, I was like, I was amazed, bro. I went and wrote my first fucking rap. Nigga. Damn. And then my relative had came down from Dallas. Already. You know what I'm saying? And we was going to house. We we're going to house together in eighth grade. And I had wrote my rap, and I didn't know. And him and his, him and his partner was rapping. You know what I'm saying? And I had spit this little rhyme for him, so they like put me in their little group. You know what I'm saying? And then it was just me and him. We had did a few little. Things for Joe Green. You know oh, what I'm saying? Bad, we, had bad, did, bad. we had did a few little 
little rap things for Joe Green. Oh, and, yeah. we, and eventually, we had rap for Baron. Was this before Joe Green was doing the dancing oh, thing? No, 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 no. This was after. Okay, he was already, okay. He was already that nigga. Oh, already? Yeah, Joe <laughs> Green was already that nigga. So then he started like doing some thing with like rappers, and y'all yeah, were like the you know, couple yeah, of guys yeah, that he started yeah, fucking yeah. with type shit. Yeah, he was, while they would be dancing, you know, me and Adrian the rap. Oh, shit, already, you know already. already. So, Damn, so, that's uh, what's up. So, uh... So... We rapped for Baron one day, man. You know what I'm saying? And it was a nigga from the West Side named AJ. Nigga was water. Nigga was like a LL Cool J. Nigga, <laughs> nigga was a wizard with them words. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? He was, he was, he was a rich. He was like, man, these <laughs> niggas y'all don't know about the real forefathers. Oh, really? The real, real forefathers. Oh, really? You know God what I'm damn, hell yeah. And uh, he was like, man, AJ, listen to these two niggas right here. And we was on the slab, you know what I'm saying? And we and, and me and me and, uh uh Adrian Rap, we had we had the back and forth. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? So Baron put us down with him. Baron would write the write majority of the raps, right? But he would give them to us in bits and pieces. And nigga, you I'm talking about you got three niggas going in and out on your ass. Nigga, Damn. this was this wasn't I'm talking about my nigga, we were live. Oh, really? This was this is this, and this is what this is why and my, my relative eventually went to uh went back to Dallas, so it was left with me and Baron. Okay. And we had this back and forth. And this is all before the North Side West Side shit happened. Damn. This is all before already, the North Side that, West Side that. shit okay, happened. Hell yeah. And me and Baron had this back and forth, bro, that like my nigga, everybody be trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we in and out on your ass. So at this time, y'all are just basically doing shit in the hood type shit before? Yeah. Okay, yeah, bet, yeah. bet. We already recording Okay, everything. bet, bet. Hell we're, yeah. Chris, say, we had, we had, say, man, we were some little roguish motherfuckers, dog. We <laughs> steal everything. Majority of all our equipment, bro, we stole that shit out of Radio Shack. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it was a little miniature. Big box, <laughs> a, a tinker table, a fucking, uh, God dang, God damn motherfucking me. Keyboard, nigga. Goddamn. Nigga, I was still out, nigga. I was still at Walt Disney Records, nigga. And anything, bro. I mean, we, man, look, bro, we poor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is, okay, this is, this, is, this is the boy. age I know I'm poor now. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? This is the age I know I'm poor now. My mama passed away. Shit real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is the age yeah. I know I'm poor now, right. but you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And, uh, say, man, and, and, and Chris, Chris was already. Making beats, we already had a DJ. Bobby was our DJ, the coldest fucking DJ in the city. We do all the parties and shit, and we was already recording ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? We was already recording ourselves at a young age. I'm talking about 13, 14. We already recording our age. I mean, uh, recording at a young age, man. We were, we were, we were, uh, we were like, if, if it was a boy. See what what I like about back then, bro. When when it came to this rap shit, nigga, if you they didn't, if the motherfuckers knew you was some rappers, nigga, and you walked in the club, nigga, they made sure you rapped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They made sure they got at least a song got y'all, Already. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or they throw y'all shit on and give you the mic so you can get yada yada and do y'all shit. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's how me and Baron got popular, man, because every time it was something like me and Baron, nigga, we we wrote so much music, my nigga. It'd be a block party, nigga. We'll get right there, nigga, and go to rapping. And niggas are coming, but one thing who liked the niggas rap was them female. I ain't gonna lie, that's why I was doing it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, it was attracting a lot of females. Yeah, a lot yeah. of females was like fucking with a nigga. Not even on, on a level of just trying to knock knock the bitch down. Yeah. But the the friendship yeah, and yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that. You yeah, was yeah. meeting this homegirl, that shit that niggas still friends today just because a nigga was rapping. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shit. Nigga.